Hi, my name is Ben Fisher. And I'm a Google Business Profile product expert. Today, I'm going to walk you through the suspensions appeal process. So you've gotten an email by this time that tells you you've been suspended along with your business name and address. Also, it's telling you a little bit about the violation type with a link that gets you to the suspension policy. Once this is clicked, you can go through the prohibited and restricted types of things and also learn about the type of proof that you are going to need as you continue. When you are ready, go ahead and click appeal and this will bring you to the actual appeals tool itself. This is where you're going to be doing all of your work. You'll verify that the email address is the proper email address that has the profile. If it is not, you can go ahead and click switch account. If it is, click confirm. Once you click confirm, you're going to get a list of all the business profiles that are inside of that account. Click on the down arrow and go ahead and type in the business name. At this time, you do have to type in the exact business name for it to bring it up. Click on search and there you go, it'll have it. Now it's gonna have the business name, the address, along with the profile ID. Then you will go ahead, click continue. And at this screen right now, it's going to tell you when you were actually rejected or suspended. It'll be again a link to the policy. In this case, it's deceptive content and also the details of whether it is eligible to appeal or not. Later on, you will get statuses here and I'll show you that later. So next, after you're ready there, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click this and it's going to tell you that evidence needs to be added within 60 minutes for being included in your appeal. You can also click on the link here at this point to go ahead and learn more about evidence types. At this point, when you are ready to go, go ahead and click Submit. And it has, your profile has now been submitted to Google for appeal. The important thing here is, is this is where the 60 minute timer starts. So go ahead and now you want to click on this link here to add, add evidence. So this form gives you the ability to add your evidence to the appeal which you have just submitted. You're still in the 60 minutes window, 60 minute window. The nice thing about this form is, is that it's automatically going to fill in the account name, the business name, the business address, in this case, the service area business, and also the profile ID. So you don't have to go looking around for any of this information. The other thing that is that's on here is, is the acceptable proof basically that you can submit along with your appeal. You have two ways or two yeah, ways to add proof and you can choose zip files up to 20 megs. So individual files or zip, fi or zip files will do. Here you wanna plead your case. Try to be as unemotional as possible. Be very logical. Just state what happened before the suspension, during the suspension and what you've done to cure your violation along with any other facts. You also just notice if it's 10 or more locations, and then if not, you just click Submit and you're good to go. Now, what happens next is, is you can always come back to the appeal tool to see what the status of your appeal is. Approved, in process, not approved. Then what it looks like when you're not approved, or I'm sorry, you'll also get an email that can basically will tell you, have you been approved or have you not been approved? Anyway, hope this helps, good luck. Have a great day.